video for me. So I'm Woody. Many of you will know me from uh, several forums. Uh, not self-proclaimed expert on the forum. I was made it. So I don't didn't think I'd earned it. Anyway, there's so much rubbish talked about filling these up. Uh, I'm just so many times put it in writing. I thought, right, this is the ideal time with Dale over here on holiday. Uh, mucking his holiday up, admittedly. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so we'll, we'll hopefully do this and, and put it to bed to, so everyone can, can watch it. So this, this basically is all we need. Funnel. Nothing special about it. That came off a watering can, actually. It's pretty useful. But, um, you can have a, a flexible hose. And the thing is to make this shoulder on the end from... It doesn't have to be yellow, obviously. Any colour you like. But uh, that, that'll show you how that's involved in a minute. Uh, that's just a close-up view of the tape around the end of the hose. You just need to wind some tape round it so it's just a snug fit in the neck of the radiator hole. And you need to Leave. keep it about an inch, inch back so that you can just pop that in into the radiator and then the air can still come up past it once the water starts overflowing then you push it in and that makes the seal in the, in the neck and then you can carry on filling that, that, that is most important in order to, you don't, don't push the hose right in you want me to get the air yeah, out so it's a, a two stage the first yes. bit is to get the fluid up to the neck of the radiator and then you push it in to seal and then that pushes the rest of the fluid up around the heater matrix and you'll, then you'll see it come out around where you've got the tape that comes through the other pipe. Yeah, I've put just some tape around it so it fits a nice fit in the neck of the fill up and fill the neck on the metal pipe and that will I should have done this, my, my mistake. But that's that's what you use, but very very gently in the in the seat just to clear off any gunge. Yeah. Let uh, yeah. me stop filming. He's, he's, I think he was in a way or something. Mm. Right. Uh, this tool is not anything specific. But you can get it from places like B&Q, do quite reasonable tap seat cutters, for I said. Do it very gently and just clean it so you've got all your corrosion removed. Otherwise, you're never going to get the seal. New caps. Now these, I always use 1.1 bar rather than the 09 bar, which is recommended. It does, does give you that higher temperature um, before the engine... Uh, yeah, it does start to overheat, so yeah. I'd recommend. Um, this is a, a reference number, but you you can uh, use that ref, reference number to be able to uh, find out what other other caps are available from other suppliers. The grill off carefully. already drained the system so that we can um, do this you know, for the purpose of doing it so right first of all remove move this cap and then go around to the passenger seat which I've already got opened up and remove the one here under the seat. Now my bottle is already full so uh, no need to do that in this uh, episode of doing the bleeding. Right, well, first of all, oh yeah, I'd better get some water out of the back, wouldn't I? 50-50 mix I use, uh, summer and winter. First thing to do, feed it down 
there. And then what you do, you just pop it in there. Don't push it up to the, to the shoulder yet. Then we'll trickle the water down into the radiator rather gently. And if you look through your windscreen, you can see when the water starts to uh, it's to fill it slowly so that it gets a chance for the air to come up out. You get it going. Mm -hmm. Once it stopped plugging, just top it up a slow a little bit more. This is the important thing to be patient with this and let make sure all the air comes through. So as you can see, the idea is just be very patient to allow the air to come out. the airs out place the cap back in but do make sure that you've got a new cap and the seat that it fits against in the pipe is in good condition and not corroding where it won't make a proper seal otherwise you're never going to get it sorted if you find that the uh, seat is a bit um, pitted a bit corroded um, you can use very gently, but only a small amount, uh, a tap seat cutter, um, which I've just adapted. I'll, I'll carry on for a second. Concentrate on the. So we're now going to carry on filling now we've put the other cap on. But we're now going to concentrate on the where the pipe goes into the radiator. to get the water up to the next level. And that's it coming out. Mm. 
So what we do, push it in there so it's a nice tight fit in the neck so the water can't come back out of the radiator. Then this little hose which goes up behind the um, radiator cap here um, comes off the uh, heater matrix and what we've got to do is carry on filling and it will push water up through the matrix and you'll see all the air bubbles coming out here on the side between the between the neck and this and the, and the hose pipe so we'll do that now yeah, that's all because your heater matrix is the highest point in the system and that's where all your air will eventually end up so you need to push all the air out of the heater matrix so I'll now carry on filling Beauty of using this clear hose it's much going down and looks like we've got it. Sykes picker van tool. Uh, it's actually a metal work tool, but it's just so handy. And if I just pop it up on the hose like that. Clamp it down, making sure we haven't nicked the plastic, which would be embarrassing, breaking the radiator. That will then, when you take the, this hose out and quickly put the um, radiator cap back on, it stops air getting back up into the heater matrix, which is the last thing you want. So you can use it in these food bag closures, or you, you can use. Um, snipe nose, mole grips, anything that will just, just uh, shut it off and stop the air getting back up. Otherwise once you take this pipe out it'll yeah. like siphon itself back out and you'll end up with water in the end. Quick job to swap over the pipe and put the cap on. Just make sure you turn it so it. it's seated properly. Same again, don't put an old cruddy cap on, it's not worth the cost. Just put new caps on and make sure you keep an eye on them over a period of time. Thing is with these plastic radiators you don't uh, get the uh, corrosion obviously being plastic mm. that you do in the metal pipe down on the uh, under the seat there so that basically is it job done and we've uh, taken, mm, taken a bit longer than I was normally just mm. uh, having to I drained the system uh, right down but, yeah yeah so that's it, that's your quick and easy Hydrate 1.3 bleeding system to get rid of all the air out of your system. The woody method. The woody method.